Hello everybody and in this video we're going to talk about how to install a web app and in this case specifically WordPress. All right. At this time um, WordPress is the most popular CMS or content management system so and it allows you to easily um, set up flexible blogs and websites on top of MySQL backend and with PHP processing. Um, so you know WordPress has been incredible, uh, has seen incre incredible uh, adaptation and it's great and it's a great choice for getting a website um, up and running quickly. All right, so in order to the, to get this to work, I've already created a droplet that includes LAMP. So you'll need to have the LAMP stack installed on your droplet. Either you did it yourself or you created a new droplet that includes um, LAMP. All right, so I'm going to log into that droplet and type in yes. Notice that when you log in, um, to, if you created, if you installed LAMP manually by running the commands, you've already set up your root, your MySQL, MySQL root user password. If not, the way to access that um, password or know that password, it's right here. All right. So in this um, comment, we got when we first log in, when we log in inside our droplet. All right. Um, all right, so again, if you've seen our previous video, I was running on an empty um, droplet. It didn't, it didn't contain um, lamp or anything. Um, this is a brand new droplet that already came in with lamp installed, so that's why I'm getting this um, user root user password um, password. All right, so that's the only difference. Everything else is the same. If you um, if you follow our videos, you know you'll notice that you've already set up your root password. Okay, so to get started, let's log in to MySQL to set up the database, and we'll do MySQL dash u root dash p. It'll ask for a password, and the password is the one I'm going to type right here. Enter, I'm in, if password was successfully, I'm inside MySQL. All right, so now I'm gonna create a database. Create database. I'm gonna call this database WordPress. Enter, oops, that my column, sorry. So my column. All right, now I'm gonna create a user. Create, um, create user, and this is called WordPress user at local host and he is identified by a password and password will be password cool All right so I call it. cool I'm gonna grant this user has zero privileges so I'm gonna grant all privileges on WordPress on the WordPress database to WordPress user at, at local host. Awesome. All right. I'll do flush of the privileges, privileges, and I'll exit. Awesome. Now I'll do, I'm going to download WordPress. So I'm going to do CD. I'm going to sure I'm on my root. All right, and we'll do HTTP dot, we'll go type in WordPress site here dot org, latest dot TRG GH. All right, so now if we do an LS, we got the file there, and we'll do tar. Well, I'm gonna, um, basically, we're gonna strike the files to rebuild the WordPress directory. So we need to do X, Z, B, F, latest, Enter, and there we go, ls, everything now is inside that WordPress directory. Now, let's update our PHP, um, so we do sudo and everything, and all our resources here, so we do an update. We'll wait for that. And now we'll do sudo whoops, app-get, 
install PHP 5 GD oops and libs h2php so basically we're trying why to continue we're getting some packages that we need um, and we can get this from directly from ubuntu but we're going to install them here all right everything's been successfully installed now we're going to do it to cd into wordpress and uh, I'm gonna notice that these are all my f WordPress files and I have in order to install properly WordPress I have to modify the config sample but I want this to be called I'm gonna grab WP config sample but really I want it to be called only config.php okay now I'll do nano WP config.php and I'll open this and okay so now here i'm going to search for the database name if you remember we've defined the database name as wordpress we define the user to be wordpress user and we define our password as password all right so that's all the thing we need to update here we'll do control x to exit it'll ask to if we want to save we'll type in y to yes and enter to leave that file with the same name okay now we're going to move we will do a cd and we want to move the wordpress folder to var dub 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 dash html notice that anything it's not you can remove that latest tar dot tar dot gc if you want i'll do that i'll do and now i'll change directory to var dub 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 slash html notice that now my wordpress directory is there um now um we're going to change some directories permission and I'm going to do sudo to change some ownership values. We'll do shown dash r, our user is root, uh, two dots, dot, 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 data, asterisk, we'll do enter. Now we have to make an upload directory. Um, this is where um, WordPress will save all the uploads we do. So we'll do make a new directory inside the bar www.html um, wp content oops sorry content uploads hit enter oh wait so oh uh, okay all right so let's do something real quick um, we're gonna try to backtrack everything again. Um, so we have to do. So we're going to move our WordPress into our roots. So WordPress is not here. If you go back into our roots, WordPress is here. And let's do this um, command instead, because we what we want to do is basically to move everything that's inside WordPress into Ah. into um, our bar dub, 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 HTML. Okay, now we go cd bar, sorry, bar dub, 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 HTML. Now everything's here. Okay, now we'll do again the sudo shown our roots uh, dub, 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 data as service enter. All right, cool. Now, let's create a search for that, make directory um, command. Now it worked perfectly. And now let's do grant um, privilege to that directory as well. That's what we did to our user. Um, so, dub, 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 data, and we do bar, dub, 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 
HTML, whoops, HTML, contents, up, uploads. Perfect. All right. So now let's go into our. Here we go. Let's refresh this. Notice I have what's 1030 web app. Admin will be my user. I'll leave that my password. Um, is that um, install WordPress? Log in, and with this, basically, so um, tell you the truth, and basically, this is it. I mean, you can go back into the you log in with your admin and password you set up and this is your WordPress site web app up and running. Now notice that again, we have this issue with the IP address. We don't want that. We want a subdomain. All right, cool. So, um, let's do that. All right. So in order to do that, if you remember, if you guys remember, we're going to go into CD, um, ETC, Apache, to sites available do an ls and notice that i will copy the 000 dash default conf into one and my subdomain for this project is called wp dot gentle geek studios dot com dot conf now on the, i'll nano that file I'll open that file come here and do the following. Um, what I want to do now is that I'm going to oh, whoops, sorry. My server name will be WP Gentle Geek Studios dot com and then I'm gonna put this webmaster at email dot com. But now I have to make a different kind of um, change in this um, conf file. Something that will read, you know, our um all right uh, remember that now i'm i want to be serving um i'm going to leave document root as it is but i'm going to add the following i want my i want php to to read my to process um my index.php because now i have an index.php i don't have an index.html so that's now that I have this, um, I'm going to close. Um, I want to save. Yes, I'll leave the same name. Um, I'll do. I will do what we did earlier. That is, whoops. We need to enable the site. So in order to do this, um, we have to. Type in um, I'm trying to remember. Okay, yeah. We need to type in sudo whoa, sudo a to end site. I always want to do the restart first and so and then the it's enabled. Now we have to do sudo service sudo, yep, sudo service apache to restart. And I'm looking for that okay. Yep, I got it, awesome. Um, now let's go back here and try my, and I'm gonna open a new tab, WP Gentle geekstudios.com. And here, perfect. All right, so in this video, we saw how to install a web app. 
Um, I hope this helps you um, push forward in for your for the Watch Sun 30 final project, and I hope it helps you. Um, this has been this has been kind of a mini series on how to get everything set up with DigitalOcean. So, as always, have fun and bye bye, guys.